Okay, so this is the first exercise set. I realize it was a, a, a lengthy process to get here, but you finally got to these exercises over here. And the exercise is you know, rather straightforward. Um, as I do this, I will be working directly on the document to speak through it, and that's for those students that need that assistance. Of course, you don't need assistance. You just do the problems, look at the answers, and move forward. All right? So let me um, tell you what I mean by that. So number one, I'll get my highlighter out. I want to claim that that's the final answer to that question. All right? So what I want to do is just go through it. And by doing that, you know, certainly I just want to talk about it in, in stages. So they're saying add a bunch of terms together. Now, granted, someone says, what terms are you talking about? This term here, which has two factors in it. This term here, which has two factors in it. This term here, which has two factors, so forth and so on. All right? Now, what I suggest you do, you're adding things together. I would look for those terms that are like terms. So, for example, I'm seeing this. Are there any other terms that have that variable part, which is a plus b, and I'm seeing it here, and I'm seeing it here. So really, I'm just adding their coefficients together. And what are their coefficients? Well, you know, 5, minus 6, and 8. So let me write that down for you. 5, minus 6, and 8. And what would that give you? Well, if you did it, you know, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, and minus 1 plus 8 is 7. So now I know there's seven of those things. All right? So I'm going to claim that part's done. Now I'm going to go to the next thing. And so it says, what's the next thing? Well, I'm looking for the terms that have x minus y in it. And I'm seeing them. There's three terms with a factor x minus y in it. So what numbers do I get? I get minus 4. I get 3. And I get minus 7. And if you add those together, what do you get? Let's see. Minus 4 and 3 is minus 1. And minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8. So you'd have minus 8 of those things. Now, Wells is the... Uh, I'm not always, but by the way, sometimes he, he does things that kind of surprise me. But he just simply write down, oh, this is 7, A plus B, minus 8, X minus Y and say he's done with it. And there's nothing wrong with that answer, by the way. I'm not saying there is. What I tend to do, which is more like a modern approach, um, you know, current conventions is you, you distribute the 7 across the a plus b, and you distribute the minus a across x minus y. And if you did that, what would you get? You would get 7a plus 7b minus 8x plus 8y. All right? And that's why I wrote that answer down. Now, again, if you're comfortable with what we're doing and you're looking at my work and saying, you know, my work doesn't look exactly like yours, the point of this is to get the same answer, all right? What answer are we looking for? We're looking for this one. What answer would Wells be looking for? This one over here. Are they the same answer? As far as I'm concerned, they're equivalent answers. Thank you.